first things you notice here is shadow silencers. Pretty sweet. Let's walk over to these guys and get a good interview. So Shadow Silencer has been around for a few years now, uh, but we just released to the general public about four months ago. Oh, nice. So we spent a lot of time with research and development. We've spent a lot of time with kind of the retired guys in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So that retired BSNF and General Dynamics and Lockheed Martin. And these guys wanted to impart their knowledge on uh, the next generation. Yeah. I just was a lucky recipient of nice. some of those things. So uh, we wanted to design something different and for the everyday person. So we looked at the suppressor market and we were like, hey, what's missing? Like, you know, what's happening in there? Right. One was availability. It's so, a huge problem huge right problem, now. Right. So we have a big machine shop because we also do military contracts and some other things like that. So mm -hmm. we already had the machine shop. So we're like, okay, how do we scale this? Where are we at? So we're able to do that. We can make, we'll just say a lot of money. So we're not at our capacity yet. And then we wanted to design it so people weren't spending extra money just to put it on their gun. Right. If you have people going and they're spending eight to nine hundred dollars on a suppressor, mm -hmm. then they find out because if they're novice, right, they have to go back to the gun store, spend another four or five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, just to get it on their adapters, uh, uh, it muzzle is. devices, all that proprietary threading, all kinds of yep, stuff. Yep, right? it's always a big thing. So we're gonna we took all of that out, but we also put a lot of design into this. Interesting. So, How did you accomplish that? So what we did, if you you've seen a lot of other suppressors on the market, I'm sure. Most of them. So. This is 7075 aluminum, okay. 6AI 4V titanium. Sweet. Okay. So everybody has this complex about you know, aluminum cans, right? Yeah. You shouldn't. We're not launching into space. It's about heat, dissipation, gas, pressure, right? Right. So most uh, silencers, their weak point is right here in their right. blast chamber, okay? Yep. And it's primarily because most of the suppressor manufacturers use a tube, okay? Well, there's not much strength you can put into a tube. Well, if we're making everything out of billet aluminum. I can control what the inside of that looks like. Oh, which means so it has I like add, relief cuts, basically. I have a lot of strength. I add a lot of strength in that one part. And then what it also does is it allows me, which you'll see once we get to the first baffle, it allows me to direct the gas almost like a standalone jet engine. Interesting. So, so that's what those cuts do. We just so you see, there's five gas lines. So if you just had a hole through it the gas would bounce. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you had the clip out, you also add rattle to it, even though it's one one hundred thousandths. You're gonna, that's why you get baffle strikes and things of that nature. Right. So having an uneven amount with the gas lines that allows a clean line of the gas to go through, so you don't have any of that, that, that bounce. But then since none of them line up, it causes a rifling effect with the gas. So it keeps the projectile very centered. Now it doesn't accelerate it or it doesn't do like No, that. no, I got you. But what it does is it keeps that gas so it's accelerating, or not accelerating, but swirling down the barrel. So we keep that projectile as center as we could, down that Interesting. Down the would that have an effect on uh, like POI shift type deal? Or it would have a less effect on POI shift? I don't have much issues with that, but some people have talked about their cans. I'm not where sure. Like, we, on and off. I bet you it might make you a know, difference. We'd have to test it, you know, we'd have, you know, we'd have to see. Yeah, that'd be cool. So what we were able to do with this, you know, this is Danny. And Danny, Danny's a Texas gun trader, and yep. he's also my tester. Oh, cool. So uh, what we did is I told him, I said, go out there and try to break it. Perfect. That's so always a fun task. So we designed this to be a nine millimeter. Yep. So we were like, okay, cool, we're good. And he goes, what if we put this on a AR-15? I don't know. <laughs> so what we did, and guess what? No issues. That's cool. So what we did, the only issue was we had a lot of back pressure. So we designed a flow through cap. Oh, interesting. So we just designed a flow through cap. If you flip it over, you'll see it's got a 60 degree ramp plus yeah. flow through. So that'll allow that higher pressure round. The actual can will hold the 41,000 PSI. So this, this helps with the overpressure and stuff like that. It'll help with overpressure, it'll help you cycle your guns, it'll also help on the back gas. Yeah, how is the so, flash suppression on most of these with this same system? So you're, you're, giving up, in the dark? you're giving up a little bit with the flow through. Okay. Just like that, you would anything you, else. You right? usually do with a little flow through. You're giving up a little bit of the sound suppression, you're giving up a little bit of the flash hider ability as well, too. Gotcha. So if it's a real short barrel, you might get a little report. Right. Yeah, you're always going to get yeah, some. Yeah, you're going to get some, right? So you have to give something up for something else. Because right? for rifles, a lot of guys have gone to like the suppressors mainly about flash suppression when they shoot. They shoot I shoot a lot of night vision. So you guys will go out there. there a lot of guys, like, they don't even care what it sounds like. They're all about flash. So we're going we're gonna to get to that in a minute, OK? Oh, nice. So this is called our Sexto 6. Mm -hmm. So we just announced the Sexto V today. Oh, today? Today. So a lot of testing with this. He's got thousands of rounds through the regular Sexto already, OK? What we figured out was, how do we make it so it's even more versatile? That's what the V stands for, by the way. So you saw the regular cup designs. 
right? This has a little bit lower of a deck. Yeah, I see that, right? yep. But then what we also figured out was how do we make it so it's variable? So you get three M cups oh. and three V cups, which will allow you to alter the chambering, you can see right in yeah. here, based on how you want to tune your gun to the ammo you're shooting. Wow. So you can actually have the user availability to say, oh, I'm getting a little too much pressure here, or I want to cool the gas a little bit further there. And you have the availability to change it all. That is neat. I've never seen that before. That Something that we just, we just announced it today. That's so, awesome. So these are all, in addition, they're all mil-spec 3 hard anodized mm -hmm. completely. Inside, inside and out. So when you talk oh, about your- Inside and out? So you talk about your cleanability and yeah. things of that nature, your durability, this adds lubricity to it. And you can spray this down with brake parts cleaner. And yeah. And really hurt it. That is really so nice. this was made for the, the actual end customer, right? Mm -hmm. We want everybody to shoot it. Yeah. So then if you put it all together and you look at it, we designed it like a computer heat sink. See I noticed that walking up. So that's how we, uh, we run it so much cooler than everybody else. So if you look on our X channel, you can see Danny here shooting through this six spear behind us. Mm -hmm. 20 rounds, five, uh, you know, 55 grain AR, you know, regular 556. Yeah. As fast as he could pull the trigger. We had a competitor can, we don't like to badmouth anybody. So it, he pulled our heat gun out and got up to about 300 degrees. Put ours on the heat soaked gun, shot the same 20 rounds. We couldn't get a reading above 140. Wow. So you're talking about a huge reduction in heat. That goes to the guys that are shooting the thermals. So if you go to our large guy, the Octomax, yep. which we'll get to in a minute, you can shoot through 338 Lapua through that. Yeah. So you're talking about the hog hunters and things that's like a, that nature. That's a huge difference. Huge difference, okay. Because like one mag one mag in your can, my can is cooking. Right, and you have to wait like three hours for it to cool down before you put it in the back of your truck. And oh yeah, I burned all kinds of crap. <laughs> right, so you burn everything, right? So that's our Sexto and Sexto V. Then we have our Duo Duo, which is our 22. Now the designs are all the same. So the, all the chambering and everything that we have. Yep, same process. All the same process. But we added the three to this. So that's usually how long about a 22 can is. Yeah, they are. But I wanted the backyard plinkers. So I- You can always take it off, right? <laughs> added, added the three more. Yeah. So I can get the backyard plinkers. And then we had to go one step further. Like I said, we're making this for the everyday man. Everyday guys got about a thousand of these they threw out. Right? Those little gun locks you get with everything? Yeah. It's the end cap tool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't need to have everybody's money on end cap tools and all those things. Yeah, I hate to. those. <laughs> Even like the AN wrenches. Mm -hmm. You can buy these for $20 on Amazon. Nice. This is what takes apart everything. So that's nice. I didn't need to spend, and I can't build that for $20, by the way. So this, $899, $499. Oh, not bad. That's what the price is. That was yeah. a 22 can? 22. Gotcha. Handle all your 22, 17, 5.7. Okay, gotcha. So handle kind of seven. through there. And what about your uh, your Sexto? Sexto, handle nine millimeter through 223556. Okay, and what was the price tag on this guy? 899. 899, okay, yeah. nice. We have it in uh, sandblasted as well. That way the people that want to do their Dura coat, like. Yeah, they uh, can do all they that can stuff. do it and it's about $50 less. That's cool. So, and it's, it's fully prepped for everybody. And then you get to our big guy, the Octo Max. So this guy right here, same process, same everything, but out of the box, this will handle 338 in the pool. Whew. So you could, we call it our 45, because I wanted the opening. Yeah. But same 7075 aluminum. We have a flow through cap for this as well. Yep, I see we that. We have a 5.8, 24 direct thread, just like a Okay, here. direct thread. So the guys that are shooting, you know, 308s. Yeah, you're going direct, you're going direct they, they on that. Direct. It makes sense. Now, um, all of these also are universal. So one and three eighths by 24. So all the QD mounts and all the stuff that's yeah. out there already, they don't have to go rebuy it, they just bolt it right in. Whatever they have at home. Nice. The smaller so they're, can, they're all hub compatible. They're all hub words. compatible. The smaller one is one and three sixteenths by 16. Again, all hub compatible to that side. That's key, because even if I didn't like my mounting system, I'm too deep. I'm not changing right. at this point. And you don't want to go buy a proprietary anything, right? No, because it costs me $800 to switch all my muzzle right. devices. Yeah, and you're just going to make it cranky. So we didn't do that. We went to where we could go to the market. The market's very open, as it is right now. Right? Oh, yeah. A lot of people are making different things. They make great mm -hmm. products. And let's say you've already invested in those products. It's okay. We want you to invest in our suppressor. Yeah. But I don't need you to rebuy $800 worth of mounting equipment. Oh, I love that you could grab one of your cans, spin a chemo on it, and just slap it on at all of my stuff at this Keep point. Going in. Have at it. That's cool. So that's our lineup right now. The Sexto V is going to be available soon. It is available at Rainier Arms already. Nice. Uh, and we're available. We're, 
we're getting larger every day. So that's we're cool. adding de uh, dealers every single day. That's uh, great. And then at the end of this year, we're going to be uh, announcing uh, a dedicated 556 camp called the Penta. So gotcha. It'll be a well-rounded lineup. So as a whole though, at the moment, basically anything that fits to the bore, you basically don't have barrel restrictions, you don't have full auto restrictions, none of that stuff so, so far. we won't ever say it's full auto rated, only for the sheer fact that- Full auto wanna, can go a long way. <laughs> yeah, 200 round, you know, whatever. Yeah, there's, there's, so we try to there's be no careful. limit to how much full auto you can send. <laughs> right, so we try to be very careful. Can right. You put 30 round mag dumps through it all day. Gotcha. No yeah. So full auto to a degree, yeah, which, to is, a degree. which is what everyone should say. That, I think, in our opinion, <laughs> yeah. in our humble opinion, gotcha. yes, right? So we just don't want to have that out there where somebody's like, hey, you said full auto rated, and right. they put a 200 belt on it, and it, it fell apart. And I'm going to be like, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, the key takeaways, I love the, the, the new baffle design with all the ports and stuff. That's cool. The uh, heat dissipation, very good so stuff. Hopefully, we're going to make some, some headway. You know, like yeah. I said, we're, new, we're the new kids on the block right now. You know, and you know, come see us. We're changing our website on a daily basis. Yeah, I'll check and it out for sure. Uh, stuff on X as fast as we can. Nice. But we also have to manufacture because the demand is out there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so. so, yep, shadow silencers. I got, I got your card. Excellent. So yeah. I'll reach out. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank Excellent. you, guys. <laughs> it's so quiet. It is so touch touch the can. So yeah, zero heat on that one. Yeah. It's it's so quiet. You wonder if it's fired or not. Yeah. You really do. Yeah, you really do wonder like, did that go off or did it jam? Yeah, when, when it clicked, I was like, did I shoot? I'm not sure. That is insane. So this is shadow silencers, correct? Yep. With uh, your own cooling technology. So here's the knife. Stay safe, okay? Oh, that's nice. But stand up the steel so you can hear it better. Wow. Look at that. That is insane. Oh. But interestingly, that barrel is much higher than the can. That's pretty big part there. You gotta think, man, we've been running all day long. That's true. Like, if, if this was my can right now, you'd be cooking bacon. Yeah. Pop it at this point. Okay. All right, what's okay. it's great, like I said, it's great with a can, but you've got a lot of other things to do with it too that help you out. Like your own loads, uh, I think uh, if there's a big cut of your stuff, you'll have to do it. All right, got them nice and fast. Woo! It's getting warm. It's getting warm, but I guarantee my kid right now, I'd have to be a greater man than I am to do this. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you'd think I should have these stripes in my hand for that. That is really cool. Now that's because you've got the, the directions and how the gas flows through, special baffles, all that stuff. So shadow silencers. Okay, cool. That is cool. These are what you say around eight eight hundred dollars, something like that. Thousand ninety nine for that one. Thousand okay. Eight ninety nine for the mid. Four ninety nine for the uh, twenty two. Not bad. That's that's right in the right in the uh, the ballpark of it, right? That's right in the middle. Of it. Nope. Right in the middle. Good deal, guy. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Good deal.